It's English time! Hi, I'm Teacher Mitch. Come and join me as we learn English the easy way. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to keep updated with my latest uploads. Please also share and hit the like button if you appreciate my videos. Thank you! Hello there everyone! Again, narito na naman ako para sa pinadaling talakayan ng English lesson mo. Here is our target most essential learning competency. Critique a literary selection based on the following approaches. Structuralist formalist approach, moralist, Marxist, feminist, historical, and reader response. Before you continue watching this video, may I just remind na kailangan ay napanood mo na rin yung mas naunang video natin on writing an independent critique where I had a detailed discussion kung ano-ano ang part ng isang critical analysis. Yung topic natin today is the continuation. Let's have a short review. Kapag pinabasa ka ni teacher ng isang literary piece, at sinabi niyang, kailangan mong sumulat ng literary critique or critical analysis tungkol dito, narito ang parts na kailangan mong malaman. Introduction, Summary, Analysis, and Conclusion Ang focus ng discussion natin today ay dito sa analysis part. You have to know that when you write the analysis of a literary piece, you have to consider several critical approaches. Critical approaches, sometimes called lenses, are the different perspectives we can consider in analyzing or interpreting a text. Meaning, kapag pinasulat ka ni teacher ng literary critique, pwede kang gumamit ng iba't ibang literary approaches to analyze the text. Itong mga critical approaches na ito ay tinatawag ding lenses. Ito yung iba't ibang angulo kung paano mo i-analyze or i-interpret ang isang literary work. Let me give you a simple illustration. Let's say, a girl is riding her bicycle. When all of a sudden, she fell off her bike. We may analyze the scenario using different approaches. Pwede nating isipin na kaya natumba yung batang babae ay dahil luma na yung bike niya. Nabutas na yung gulong, kaya siya natumba. This is the formalist or structuralist approach. In another angle, pwede rin isipin natin na kaya siya natumba kasi itinulak siya ng mga kalaro niyang mga batang lalaki dahil on their point of view, ang pagbabike ay para lamang sa mga lalaki at hindi para sa babae. This approach then, is the feminist approach. We can also perceive that kaya siya natumba ay dahil nagmamadali siyang magbike dahil binubuli siya ng mga kaklase niyang mayayaman dahil siya ay isang mahirap lamang. This approach naman is the Marxism. These are just some of the critical approaches that I will discuss in detail. So sit back, relax, and learn. Before we proceed, may babasahin muna tayong summary ng isang short story. And from this story, I'll show you samples of the analysis using different critical approaches. The title of this short story is Dead Stars, written by Paz Marquez Benitez, a Filipino writer. The short story Dead Stars revolves around a man, Alfredo Salazar, and his affairs. Alfredo Salazar believes in true love and optimism to discover ecstasy in its tear. Esperanza is the first woman he falls in love with. The families of both of them are acquainted with each other, and hence, they start a loving relationship. Both get engaged after three years of their relationship. Alfredo is a lawyer who has strong desires and wants warmth and compassion. However, Esperanza is an impassionate woman having strong will and principles. Alfredo's love for her soon fades away when he meets Julia. Julia, now, becomes a new object of his desire. 
Julia Salas is sister-in-law of the judge who is a friend of Alfredo's father. Julia is an optimistic and enthusiastic person having her own dreams and desires. When Alfredo comes across her, he is strongly attracted to her. On his visit to her with his father, he engages himself in conversation with her and is attracted to her charm. Even he is so passionate that he doesn't disclose his engagement to Esperanza. So as to avoid the discovery of his fiancée, he keeps secrets from Esperanza too. His eyes are doomed when he learns about Julia's return to his native town. With a fear of losing her, Alfredo decides to declare his true feelings for Julia. When the church's function ends, Alfredo goes to meet her, though his fiancée is waiting for him. When he reaches there, he learns that Julia has already known about his engagement to Esperanza. She wishes him for his marriage and leaves him. On his return home, he gets a double blow. He finds Esperanza talking to her friend about loyalty and faithfulness. Alfredo senses a desire to communicate. He supports the reason for craving and choice over dishonesty. Esperanza soon confesses that she knew about his affair with Julia. In pursuit of his lust and heart's content, she encourages him to cancel the wedding. However, the wedding goes ahead as scheduled and Alfredo surrenders to reason. Near Julia's native town, Alfredo, after eight years, is sent to some work duty. On his visit, he feels nostalgic and cannot resist his lust for Julia and soon finds an excuse to meet her. Julia is still single that forces Alfredo to dream about starting a new life with her. However, he soon realizes that everything is not the same as it were before. Moreover, Julia has also changed lost something. Now that we're done reading the story, I will show you sample analysis using the following critical approaches. Structuralist or formalist approach historical approach, moralist approach, feminist approach, reader response approach, and Marxist approach. Again, tandaan ninyo na itong analysis ay part lamang ng isang buong literary critique. The first approach that I will discuss is the structuralist or formalist approach. It holds that the true meaning of a text can be determined only by analyzing the literary elements of the text and by understanding how these elements work together to form up a cohesive whole. It is the study of a text without taking into account any outside influence like historical background and biography of the author. In this approach, what are being analyzed are the following. Literary elements literary devices, structure, it means how the work is structured or organized, and language, which means the style of writing. This is a sample is structuralist formalist approach analysis. Hindi ko nababasahin ng buo, but in this sample, you will see how the literary elements were analyzed and how these elements work together to help us understand the totality of the text. The literary elements and devices that were analyzed include the structure, narrator's point of view, foreshadowing, types of conflict, kasama rin ang symbolism, and theme. Proceed naman tayo sa historical approach. It involves the understanding of the historical and cultural conditions that influence the production of the literary work. For example, may mga literary works about war na naisulat dahil nung mga panahon na yon ay talagang kasalukuyang mayroong nagaganap na giyera. Ito naman ang sample analysis using the historical approach. Dito ay pinakita ang cultural context kung bakit naisulat ang Dead Star. And that is, 
to allow us to understand how courtship, marriage, and fidelity were considered in the early 1900s. The third approach is the moralist approach. To study literature from the moral or intellectual perspective is therefore to determine whether a work conveys a lesson or message and whether it can help readers lead better lives and improve their understanding of the world. Dito sa sample moralist analysis, ipinakita naman ang mensaheng nais iparating ng akda na hindi dapat na fall sa temptations ang mga lalaki because cheating can affect relationships and even marriage. Punta naman tayo sa feminist approach. This approach focuses on female representation in literature, paying attention to female points of view, concerns, and values. Three underlying assumptions in this approach are Western society is pervasively patriarchal, male-centered and controlled, and is organized in such a way as to subordinate women. The concept of gender is socially constructed, not biologically determined, and that patriarchal ideology pervades those writings which have been considered great works of literature. So this is a sample of analysis using the feminist approach. Kapag binasa mo tong sample, you can see that women during those days, through the character of Esperanza, are portrayed to be the typical women who were very dependent to men as they could not make decisions for themselves. Now, let's talk about the reader response approach. This approach argues that the meaning of a text is dependent upon the reader's response to it. It is more of the reader's own reaction to the text upon reading it that may be influenced by his or her own experiences. Hence, two different readers may derive completely different interpretations of the same literary text. This is a sample analysis of the text using the reader response approach. This is the response or reaction of the writer of the critique based on his personal perception of the text. The last one is the Marxist approach. Critics examine the relationship of the literary product to the actual economic and social reality of its time and place, including class stratification, which means that certain tasks in society are more valuable than others, class relation, which concerns the authority relationship based on property ownership, and dominant ideology, basically the rich versus poor issues. It tries to understand how power, politics, and money play a role in literary texts and how these elements impact the society and characters in the text. Class struggle between the rich and the poor, between the more superior and the less superior. These are the elements of Marxist approach. Now, for the Marxist approach, Ang best example dito ay yung story na The Necklace, which I discussed sa last video natin. This is the story I discussed on our previous lesson about independent critique. The analysis tells us the impact of the social condition in the character of Mathilde Loisel. It tries to show how people deal with their struggle with money as influenced by the materialistic values of the French society. Now that we're done, let me give you some reminders. When asked to compose a literary analysis, you have to follow this format. Write an introduction and the summary. Then, write the analysis part using the critical approaches that we discussed. And finally, the conclusion. 
Now, analyzing a text does not mean that you only have to focus on one literary approach. Kung minsan, we analyze a text using a varied perspective or a combination of different critical approaches to further interpret, evaluate, and appreciate a literary work. Thanks for watching!